about uh, your overall thoughts on the game, and uh, obviously you must be happy with, with the point, but are you not happy that you didn't finish it off in the end? No, I mean, I'm, I'm not happy with the, with the point. Uh, I thought we, we moved the ball well in the first half, we passed the ball well. Uh, we, we got into good good situations, and uh, at, at times the final pass was, was just missing, and or, uh, you know, some, some quality on the finish. In the second half, um, I found us to be a bit, uh, a bit tentative, a bit uh, trying to play too fast at times, uh, not sort of dictate, dictating the tempo of the game. Um, but we, we, funnily enough, we created the better chances, and uh, uh, unfortunately, we, we didn't score. Thank you. So overall, then. 1.1 or two lost? How do you look at it, big picture, Stephen? Uh, I mean, well, well, what can I say? I think uh, I think we should have come away with something from the game uh, in, in terms of three points. But uh, we didn't lose the game, which is important. Andres, me? Wasn't Andres what you expected tonight? <coughs> no. I thought, uh, I, I thought they'd be a little more adventurous. Um, they, they certainly settled down in the, in the, they were very nervous in the first half. They certainly set, settled down nicely in the, in the second half. They, they sort of uh, tried to take a better control of, of, of the midfield. Um, but they really didn't create, you know, most of the chances were from way outside. So, you know, all in all, uh, I, I didn't think they, they created as much as they would have liked. John Sporson. The sort of lack of finishing is a theme that you've talked about before. How concerned are you going forward? Because it seems to be a bit of a persistent problem. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, I keep saying the same thing. If we keep creating chances, then hopefully somebody will hit form. But, but I, th I, th I thought we missed some easy chances. And uh, we, we need to we need to be better on that. Uh, I really cannot rectify the problem uh, because now I don't see these players till September. Uh, it's, it's a club problem. <laughs> it's not my problem. It's my problem when they come to me. Coach, uh, Honduras uh, has had kind of number in the last three or four years, winning the last four matches, including two qualifiers in the quarter final in Um uh, This was a, a much better performance. Was it more Canada playing its game or Honduras not playing its game or a bit of both? I, I think uh, I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, um, you know, we 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 sort of frustrated them in, in midfield. Um, both both their both their centre midfielders uh, won't get in the kind of uh, space they would like to move the ball. Um, but but they did well in the second half down down the left side. But as I said, I, I thought we can, we contained well and we we, we had good opportunities on the counter attack. It just wasn't uh, wasn't for us. Uh, Stephen, you, you talked about the finishing or lack thereof and the frustration that goes with it. You left it till pretty late to bring on Ian and Simeon. Were you tempted to change things earlier than that? It didn't give them obviously much time to make an impact. No, because you know I, I thought we had a rhythm. Um, I didn't think. I honestly don't think if if you if you put on three, four attackers, you're going to lose something somewhere else. And I don't, I don't think that's necessarily going to give us goals. It's not for a lack of chances, you know. Um, I, I brought on uh, Simeon and Ian, yes, yes, it was late, but, but I thought uh, the, the Honduras centre-backs were, were beginning to wilt a little bit and maybe something would, would fall for us. Uh, actually, a, chance did, a couple of chances did fall to us, but, you know, that's how it is.